humankind has always had an unflagging interest in exploring things around us. Thus we have explored near the Earth's space, constructed stations at the South Pole, and the times we have orbited the globe are without number. But even today there are places on our planet where man has never set foot. And they are right beneath us. Science does not have any concrete facts as to what may lurk tens of thousands of meters below the planet's surface. In fact, samples of minerals extracted from deep down are as valuable as those delivered from celestial objects by spacecraft. But what prevents us from going as far down as that and taking a look? And what has been revealed so far thanks to the deepest man-made well? The Kola Super Deep Borehole. People have attempted to drill holes in the ground since the 13th century. The main purpose for such projects was to take a close look at a diversity of objects as yet not known to science that could lie concealed in the depths of our Earth. For example, several years ago a team of geochemists from Russia, France and Germany discovered an underground ocean dating back to the Archean Eon. It lies approximately 500 kilometers deep and its volume beats the overall amount of water of all oceans on the planet's surface. This discovery provided scientists with more accurate data about the peculiarities of our planet's formation. There is no doubt that these discoveries would have been unthinkable without super-deep drilling projects. One of the best examples of these is the Kola Super Deep Borehole, which maintains the title of the deepest in the world even a quarter of a century after it was closed. The construction and development of the Kola Borehole facility started back in 1970 and continued for over 20 years. Its depth reaches 12,262 meters. The diameter of its opening measures 92 centimeters. The drilling was carried out using the Uralmash 4A drilling rig, to be later superseded at 7,263 meters by Uralmash 15,000 whose mass was over 200 tons. Notably, it took about 18 hours for the column to travel all the way up or down. The chosen drilling site was located 10 kilometers to the west from the town of Zapolarni. The borehole is situated in the northeastern part of the Baltic Shield and reaches Archean ore-bearing rocks, which are typically to be found in ancient bedrocks of the continental crust. The site is by all accounts ideal for super-deep drilling, as the Kola Peninsula is one of the few continental places on Earth that contains no sedimentary rocks and whose surface is comprised of exceptionally ancient rocks dating back approximately 3 billion years. Unlike other major super-deep man-made wells made for the purposes of oil and gas extraction works or geological surveys, the object of drilling the Kola borehole was specifically for scientific purposes to pursue research tasks. Its main objective was to confirm theoretical models of the composition of the lower layers of the Earth's crust and to find out more about the nature of their transition to the Earth's mantle. The explorers were also going to find out about the bedrock composition of the Nicoliferous Pechanga complex, identify the special features of geological processes manifestations and collect more data about the thermal regime in the crust as well as about deep water solutions, gases and rock composition. The project was also supposed to help improve super-deep drilling techniques already existing at the time and work out methods of complex geological and physical studies of rocks and doors at great depths. The drilling works started on May 24, 1970. It was plain sailing down to 7,000 meters as the drill was passing smoothly through solid homogeneous granite rock. However, Having broken through the 7,000 meter mark, the drill entered less solid stratified rocks and the well scarred and formed voids. The column would then fail and the drill would detach itself and fall when its recovery was attempted. These failures became regular occurrences and soon the well's structure assumed a shape reminding one of a tree with multiple branches broken off. On June the 6th, 1979, the Kola Super Deep Borehole beat the 9,583-meter record previously held by the Bertha Rogers Oil Exploratory Well in Oklahoma. And in 1983, the depth of the borehole reached 12,066 meters. 
After this record was beaten, the drilling was for a short time suspended. When the process was resumed several months later, the first major failure occurred and the drilling had to be started again from a point just 7 kilometers deep. By the year 1990, the new hole reached as far down as 12,262 meters. However, following several other major failures, the process had to be aborted, with the borehole closing for good four years later. It was initially expected that the Kola borehole would be instrumental in discovering clear-cut transition from granite to basalt. It should be mentioned that due to high pressure and high temperatures, the granite rock's physical properties were dramatically affected. The granite samples extracted from the well would often crumble due to the sudden changes in the pressure. Only extremely slow lifting of the drill made it possible to extract a solid piece of rock, which enabled scientists to make quite a few valuable conclusions about the Earth's deep interior. The major result of the geothermal studies was information about temperatures in the well. The indicators proved to be much higher than initially expected. Closer to the surface, the rate of temperature increase accounted for 11 degrees per kilometer. At the depth of 2 kilometers, it grew to 14 degrees per kilometer. At the depth from 2.2 to 7.5 kilometers, the temperature grew at the rate close to 24 degrees per kilometer. Eventually, the temperature of 70 degrees Celsius was registered at the depth of just 5 kilometers, and by 12,000 meters, the temperature rose to as much as 220 degrees Celsius. New practical information about the composition of the deepest parts of the Baltic Shield greatly complemented theoretical suppositions. Analysis of super-deep rocks revealed data considerably differing from information known to science before the launch of the super-deep borehole project. Scientific results were also of practical use. For example, shallow copper and nickel zones were discovered by geologists, and these rocks were suitable for extraction. At the depth of 9.5 kilometers, an anomalous geochemical layer of gold was discovered. Gold concentration accounted for up to a gram per one ton of the rock. And even though gold mining is hardly feasible at that greater depth, the very existence of the gold-carrying layer, as well as its properties, allowed modeling evolution processes of these metals with more precision. The length record of the Kola Superdeep borehole was beaten only recently, and that only by wells drilled for large-scale oil and gas extraction. One of these is the oil well known as Myersk Oil BD-04A. It was drilled in 2008 and is 12,290 meters long. To date, the Z42 Chivo well is the longest well on Earth, extending as far down as 12,700 meters. However, the Kola borehole remains the deepest man-made well. In addition to the borehole's record-breaking features, it also boasts unique history, which over the years has been shrouded by innumerable legends and mysterious myths. Many of them were prompted by various failures the scientists had to face, but were not always able to identify what had caused them. For example, in 1995, an explosion of inexplicable nature originated at the deepest point of the well, and the drilling had to be stopped. The cause of this phenomenon has never been identified. The supervisor of the operations, David Mironovich Guberman, confirmed that a bizarre noise had been heard prior to the explosion. Interestingly, several days later, nothing of the kind took place at the same depth. It is possible that the cause lay in a failure of the drill itself, or else an encounter with a substance not yet known to science. It is hardly unfeasible, as such deep layers of the globe still remain almost unexplored. The Kola Superdeep Borehole has traveled only a minuscule portion of the whole way to the center of the Earth. The full distance is 6,371 kilometers. The scientists working at the well hoped to get to the mantle at least, but to achieve this it would have taken another 30 or 40 kilometers. But even as it is, what they did manage to carry out borders on fantasy. To this day, not a single apparatus has gone that deep underground. Today, geology is advancing on a par with space exploration, 
and research involving drilling is comparable to space exploration using telescopes, which is so familiar to us. Geologists cherish some ambitious plans too, and while one part of the scientific community concerns themselves with how to reach other planets, another part studies the makeup of our own Earth and is busy figuring out how to get as far as its center.